Can't for my wins, I need my hands This life is real, if they pretend Came off the bench, I get it in Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Relly, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do like a perfect boomerang, really. Now, I know boomerangs have been around for a while. I'm, I'm not sure if they were, like if they were a thing before Instagram integrated them with uh, like their stories and everything, but I just wanted to like show you a cool creative way to do a boomerang like this and just really kind of like it's one little small thing that could just help you stand out or just get your creative juices going. So, let's get into the first thing. Now, the way I set this up is whatever your camera's drive mode is or if you're just using an iPhone, you can do the burst mode and just take as many photos consecutively. I have mine, I have a Sony a6500 and I have my drive mode set to high plus. So it's literally taking photos as fast as it can when you hold down the shutter button. It's like <laughs> that sounded like a sprinkler. But yeah, so I set that up and the way I do it is I move forward as I'm holding down the shutter button. Now in the tunnel one that you saw in my last video, um, Abigail was driving so I didn't really have to do any worry about anything as far as moving. So I was just sitting in the passenger seat. I had my camera and then I actually rotated it as I was going. And so if I use my phone as an example, holding it like this, holding down the shutter and rotating it as I'm going. You don't have to rotate. You can even add the rotate and post if you want to. It's totally up to you. As far as editing goes, um, I personally use Adobe After Effects, but you can totally do this in Premiere if you wanted to. Essentially what you're doing is, if you choose the photo route, you edit all your photos, get it to however you want it, you import it as a time-lapse sequence. And what that'll do is that'll take all the images, put them together as if it was a video, because essentially that's what a time-lapse is. But once you do that, whether you add the rotation during or you add it during your editing process, it really doesn't matter. You have your video and what you want to do is you want to make a duplicate of that video and then move it over and reverse it. Put that second one in reverse, throw it in reverse. <laughs> and then you wanna overlap it by one frame across the original clip. Why you wanna do it over one frame is because if you were to do it with just like, you have it go and then it's right after, you have that one frame that is duplicated technically. And so it kinda looks, it doesn't look like a full smooth boomerang. If you overlap it by one frame, it treats that as one frame together instead of two of the same frames. And then it goes back and forth. Does that make sense? Let me know down in the comments below if it doesn't. I'm trying to get better at explaining things very quickly and easily understandable. That was even a terrible sentence. Moving on. The reason that I prefer to do it in After Effects versus Premiere is because in Premiere, if you need to change the speed of your boomerang, um, all you can do really is just uh, hit Command or Control R and change the speed of the clip versus After Effects, you can enable time remapping, which you just right click on the clip, go to time, enable time remapping. And then you can drag the keyframe to kind of fit where, like however long you want it to be. So with this time remapping, I can get an adjust it to match the music that I'm using for whatever clip. And it just makes the process a lot easier, in my opinion, and it allows for more customization. But like I said, you can totally use Premiere you can just mess with the speed duration if you want to, you can do it that way. Um, I just find it After Effects is a lot easier. So that is it. All right, that's all you have to do to create these smooth, perfect boomerangs. You can do it with a time-lapse, you can do it with a hyperlapse. you can do it with a regular video, you can do it with, <laughs> I don't know, um, stop motion, I don't, I mean, whatever you wanna do, just get creative out there. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Um, I'm going to sit here and eat these animal crackers in the meantime, and please, please, have a good day or a good time doing what you're doing. Please consider subscribing for more content like this in the future. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>